Sebastian Men Martinez, MMA manager with Arnold Allen, who faces Yatsin Meza. So, like you just mentioned, you know, you got your UFC debut short notice. Now, you seem to be, you know, relaxed. You're sitting here drinking tea, having a good time. Do you feel the difference in terms of preparation? Yeah, yeah. I feel much more comfortable, you know. I've, uh, I've been focusing on this moment for a long time now, so I'm prepared. I'm ready to go. And I'm, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm very focused. And you get a completely different type of opponent as well. I mean, first you got a guy who, you know, he wasn't really winning in the UFC, and now you're getting a pretty established guy, comes from a good camp, he's fought a lot of good guys as well. Were you expecting such a big step up in opposition? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not too bothered with the step up. I think it's good. It's, you know, I, I won my fight. I want to improve, so I feel like I've improved a lot. I want to step up, so I'm, I wasn't expecting anything, really. I, I was looking through the rankings and looking through the roster, and, I had no idea who they were going to give me, so. But yeah, I'm very happy with the fight. I was going to be happy with whoever they give me, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, I mean, obviously you'd be happy, you know, just getting a fight. But I mean, yeah. still, though, this has got to be a pretty, you know, he comes to such a good camp with yeah, such good yeah. trainers. I mean, this has got to give you, like, like if you win, a much bigger boost in the rankings than if you were fighting like a debuting European fighter. Well, a lot of the time, you know, the camp is what you do in the camp. And I see people obviously being at the, one of the best camps now, TriStar. I see people in the gym that aren't putting the work in as well. So, you know, I mean, there's these people at the same places. And I'm not saying he's one of those guys, but, you know, the camp isn't the be-all and end-all. It's, it's the individual. It's the, it's the person who puts the work in, 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 you know. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it still. What do you feel are his biggest strengths? Because, obviously, he has had some ups and downs in the UFC. Yeah, yeah. He's tough. He's fit. Like, I think they're his biggest strengths. Mm. And your biggest strengths in this fight? Just my all-round game. I think, yeah, mm. my youth, my, my all-round game, everything. I think that's, that's my strength, my whole game. And, you're, you know, you're one of the many British fighters who has ventured abroad to train, you know, with some, uh, with some very uh, prestigious camps, you know, TriStar in your, in your case. Uh, some other British fighters seem to be more of a school of thought that, you know, no, we should stay here, build up MMA in the country. Like, how do you feel about those kinds of opinions that, like, no, the British fighters should be, you know, more promoting their own kind of camps? Yeah. I don't know if there's a right or wrong when it comes to that, but for me, you know, I was at the gym back home, I was struggling with uh, sparring partners, the people weren't coming in, like, you know, so I, I had to get out, I had to go somewhere else. Now I'm at a gym where there's, the coaches are always there, you know, there's like 20 professionals on the mat all the time, and there's always good people, there's, there's many people coming through the gym every week, there's people coming to stay every week, so you're always getting the best guys coming through, you know, so it's, uh, it, it was a must for me. Mm. And so far, you know, you're, the only blemish on your record has uh, been against uh, Marcin in, in Cage Warriors. He didn't really make the cut into the UFC, but, you know, how, how important would it be to avenge that loss? Like, is that something that, I mean, obviously, you know, right now you're not really in the same weight class, but is that something that you think about at times, you know, wanting to get that fight back? No, uh, you know, I'll never really think about it, you know. It was a learning curve for me, and uh, it was just, I turned up with the wrong mindset and I paid the price, so... I've learned massively from it, you know, so uh, I, I haven't thought of it. I'm ahead of that now, you know, I've gone way past that, so no, it, it's not even a thought. And it's often said that you learn more from a loss than from a win. Yeah. Do, do you feel, do you agree with that? Yeah. yeah, I did, I did. I definitely learned from it. I come back, refocus my mind, I've refocused my training, and uh, yeah, and I, and I won't, won't make those mistakes again. And, you know, just wrapping up, how important do you feel the move to TriStar was to your overall MMA game? It's very important. It's, it's vital. You know, I, I needed to do something like that. I needed to move to a camp. You know, I want to, I don't want to just be in the UFC. I want to, I want to excel. I want to climb the rankings. I want to be one of the top guys eventually. So I think it's very necessary. Thank you very much. Good luck in the fight. Thank you.